Hello and welcome as we meet again to talk about statistics. Now in last couple of lectures we talked about what statistics is, it is an area, it is a discipline, it is a field, it is a science that deals with data, that deals with numbers. Now what happens in statistics is, there are raw facts, there are things happening all around. As we start making a note of all those things, as we start counting those things, as we start measuring the magnitude of those things, we start generating data. Now, unless that data is properly organized, classified, formed into classes, some measures are found out like percentages, averages, standard deviations, deviations, that data is unintelligible, that data is not useful. So the idea is raw facts are happening all around us. When we start taking a note of all those raw facts, data starts piling up. Now, unless we take proper care that data is useless, that data is not worthy of anything. For example, I start asking heights of every individual that is walking around me, every student of IMS, every student of Rampuria College, every student of MGS University or for that person every individual of a particular city, let us say Bikaner or Rajasthan. Now I start recording their heights, I will ask their height and I will record it. You go ahead and gather all this data from 200 people, from 2000 people, from 2 lakh people. Is this data intelligible? Is this data telling me anything? Right now this data is not telling me anything. So what statistics does is, statistics takes all this data and convert it into meaningful data which could have been, let us say classes, classes could have been 4 to 4.6, 4.6 .6 5 feet, 5 feet to 5, 4, 5, 4 to 5, 10, 5, 10 to 5, 12. Now what we have done is, we have converted this data into some meaningful classes. 512 or rather 6, it is 6, it becomes 6, then this will be 6 to 6, 4 and 6, 4 plus. Now I have meaningful classes. What do we mean by meaningful classes? Anybody above 6 is tall, is extra tall and anybody above 6.4, 6 feet and 4 inches is very tall. So this is very tall, it makes logical sense. All these people are tall, all these people are average, all these people are below average, all these people are short. So the idea is, now all these classes are making sense and I, if I know the frequency, If I know the frequency, then I get a very good idea that by and large, what is the height that I can expect in a particular city, majority of the people 2428 are having height between 5, 4 and 510. Now all this data was not that much worthy of knowledge. All this data was not that much useful. But now by converting it into classes, by converting it into a proper table, I have made it more intelligible now it is intelligible. This is what statistics does. 
it gathers data it converts it into intelligible data and once i have data classified or organized into tables i can go ahead and find out averages deviations etc depending on the query i'll find out different measures so this is the idea behind statistics that raw facts people of different heights walking around this was a raw fact not touched this was a raw fact sachai thi then we started recording when we started recording this gave me there were raw facts people walking around of different heights then as we started recording their heights this gave me raw data which was obviously a bit more unintelligible as compared to later on stages so it was unintelligible in some senses then organizing and classifying converted it into tables and then analyzing converted into statistics statistic and if you are finding out multiple then it becomes statistics so this is the idea behind statistics now if we try to understand this complete we can say that we can divide this complete process into two if you remember the continuum last time we talked about raw facts being converted into data into knowledge into wisdom so there also we divided it so here also we can divide this complete setup into two this section is more concerned about recording the data this section is more concerned about telling me the raw data the actual data or to an extent classifying it so this section is not working on manipulating the data not working on operating upon the data it is just recording the data and telling me yes it can it could have given me data in this shape and it could have given me data in this shape so it is not playing around with data it is not finding out any measures it is not dividing adding and doing anything it is just taking the data and reporting then if i take the second section second section here i have started operating upon the data because when you form classes when you start forming classes then it becomes operation on data because it was your logic that converted uh, that grouped 54 to 510 all people between 54 to 510 were grouped into 2428 into one class so that was your logic that is where you started manipulating or operating upon data why am i calling it manipulating can you tell me how many people had a height of 5 feet 5 inch you cannot tell me how many people had a height of 5.5 inch that means that raw data has been manipulated yes the part that i'm leaving over here that could be discrete series if i had formed discrete series then i would not have manipulated the data to an extent although the data would have been manipulated to a, a little bit but not to this extent now i cannot even tell you how many people are having uh, height of 55 i cannot tell you how many people are having a height of 56 so i can say that to an extent that rawness the originality of data is gone this means some kind of analysis some kind of grouping some kind of logical explanation over the data has started so if i divide this data into two if i divide this process of statistics into two one is just gathering the data and telling me 
which is taking your exams and giving you report cards, mark sheets. That is gathering the data about your intellect, gathering the data about your understanding and then reporting it in form of mark sheet, reporting it in form of TR, which the schools or colleges receive along with your mark sheets. So that is gathering the data and reporting the data. Then what we see in newspaper that of 20 toppers from Rajasthan, 6 came from Bikaner, 4 came from Jodhpur, 10 came from let us say Jaipur. So when you start getting these kind of data, that is manipulation, that is operation. Just reporting the facts, taking a test, giving you marks, measuring the height, reporting the heights. This is one section. Another section is telling me average height, telling me how many people are very tall, telling me how many people are tall, telling me how many people have average height. All this is operation. So here we can divide statistics into two. One is this section. This is known as descriptive statistics and this section is known as inferential statistics. So we have descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Fine. The complete statistic, statistical process which we talked about last time that it starts with collection of data to conversion of meaningful information, meaningful statistic that complete process has been divided into two. One has been put into just recording the facts and reporting them, just recording the facts and reporting them. While second section is finding out statistics, finding out averages, finding out deviations, interpreting them. What does this mean? If I have averages of two states, state A and state B. If I have average heights of two states, let us say average height of one state is 5.7 while the average height of another state is 5.9. Now I can interpret that on an average people are taller in state B. Now whatever policy decision you wish to take, you can take. You get results, you get results and then you see that. Rajasthan and Haryana. On an average, pass percentage in Rajasthan was 78% while in Haryana it was 52%. Pass percent in an exam, let us say. In Rajasthan it was 78%, Haryana it was 52%. What does this tell me? This tells me that the passing percentage in Rajasthan is higher. Students are studying more seriously in Rajasthan. Now, why is it called inferential statistics? Because now I can infer that in Haryana students are not taking studies very seriously. Now I can infer that if you need to put in some effort, more efforts need to be put in Haryana. Rajasthan is doing still better, but more efforts need to be put in state Haryana. So this is inference. You got my, you conducted an exam, you got marks, you reported the marks and then you gave me some statistics also. Now these statistics are being inferred. I am inferring information from these statistics. That one state is doing better, another state is not doing better. This tells me that in another state I need to put in more effort on studies of students. So we have two types of statistics, descriptive and inferential. We will be making use of both kind of statistics.